so we just touched down in Chicago. It is 8.50 p.m. Chicago time. My boy Casey just pulled up. What's going on, everybody? Where are you coming from, bro? Richmond, Virginia. You know what it is. So we got the rest of the squad pulling up. They should probably be here within the next one, two hours. Gonna get some food. We got nuggets at night. Ricky, wherever he is, is throwing his first swing somewhere. He's throwing his first podcast episode down tonight. So that's gonna be dope. We're gonna light it up in Chicago. So, let you guys know. Popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. Brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a rock star What's good? So we just touched down in Chicago. I've never been here. First time. The whole squad's here. Team Jazz said we have an event that we're doing out tomorrow that's about to be absolutely a game changer. Off the hook, beast mode. I don't know what other words to say to describe it, but it's gonna be fucking sick. So we're on top of this roof right now. I don't think we're supposed to be here, but our penthouse is right below us. So I think we should take full advantage of this place. <laughs> but yo, make sure you guys stay tuned, watch the entire video, because this shit is gonna be sick. Hey, if you're watching this right now, comment hashtag Team Jesset on this video. Beast mode. Beast mode. Yeah. Go beast mode. Beast mode. Ballin' so hard, yeah, they think I got the cheat code. Huh. I got the cheat code. What's up you guys? So we're out here in Chicago. It's my first time ever being in Chicago and I'm super excited to be here. One thing I love about traveling is really finding the spots in the city or the state wherever you're traveling that really have that culture and really tells you a lot about the city. Um, being able to travel and go wherever you want, whenever you want, is a true blessing in life. I think everybody should make time within their life to travel and experience something new, experience new culture, and meet new people for sure. So stay tuned for this New York and Chicago vlog. Yo, 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 so we are somewhere in Chicago right now, and I just wanted to talk to you guys, for those of you guys watching this right now, why it's so important to like switch up your location, to get around different places, to like change up your work environment, to get stuff, you know, more stuff done. I think everybody from squad is a little bit to say something yeah. about that. I mean, I think changing up your work environment and your mastermind environment, whatever it might be, you know, traveling different states, countries, areas, I think that's so vital to really growing your mindset, growing your skill set, whatever it might be, because isolating yourself or putting yourself in a different uncomfortable environment I mean that, that's when the real work really starts to happen that's when the results are really made when you're in an uncomfortable situation Force to grow. Force exactly. to grow. I think I actually said or tweeted something the other day I said take the comfort out of comfortable and you're still able right Ooh. so even though you might be uncomfortable you're still able to get whatever you gotta do done. I like that I like that I had a little something all right I like to work in different areas because you never know who you're gonna meet I think that building a network is one of the most important things in the world. It's actually the most important to me because you can know how to do great things, but if people don't know you, then you'll never have to use it. So for me, I think that leverage, and uh, that's something I've been using a lot lately, and I think Casey Adams here knows a little bit about leverage too, yeah, right? Absolutely, So why don't you man. tell a little about leverage, bro? For sure, man. So for me, like traveling and kind of meeting the new people and seeing these different locations, I'd say the yeah. biggest thing for me that it tells you to think differently kind of absorb your surroundings in a different way that you're not used to, which causes you to be more creative, which causes you to have new ideas, talk about different things that you usually don't talk about. And overall, it just creates a whole different work environment that you get a lot of stuff more done effectively and efficiently. Right. Yeah. And I couldn't agree with that more, honestly. And I think when you come to these new areas, you never know who you're gonna meet. And I have a saying, I think everybody in life says, it's um, about who you know, but for me, that's backwards. I think it's all about who knows you. Because you can know 
I mean, Michael Jordan, you can know, you know, Kobe Bryant, you can know Bill Gates, but if they don't know you, then they'll never help you. So the reality is, is that you need to get out there and you got to network, you can't be afraid. For me, anybody I come across that looks interesting, that looks like they know how to do something, I'm going to introduce myself, I'm going to give them my social media, and I'm going to make sure that we connect because you never know who you can connect and make a profit. All right, cool. At the end of the day, I just think it honestly comes down to if you want different results, you want to do different things, you want a different lifestyle, whatever it is that you want, different income, you got to do different shit. You can't stay in the same place, you can't stay in the same location doing the same things, kicking it with the same people because it's just, just going to stay the same. I mean, and for me, I mean, you can kick it with the same people, but you guys got to go do it in a different environment, baby. You got to well, have hey, fun. Hey, hey, hey. If, the, if the people you're kicking with are fucking dope and leveling up, yeah. that's all right. Consistently. But, but if you're kicking it with the same people that are, you know, going to the same parties that they went to in high school and smoking the same blunts and hitting the same bongs and playing the same beer pong, you got the wrong squad. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. Get out. And, now. And, and what's crazy Don't is... Don't hesitate. And here's one thing that I look for in my team and my squad is that I know if that me and Josh separated for six months, that six months from now he would experience, learn, and be able to add so much more value to my life and be the same for me to him. What is that? I'm saying it's not perfect. It's not right. Hey, sorry, we never saw one of those before. <laughs> They're like little creepy little creatures out here. Huh? <laughs> We're gonna flying rats and shit. <laughs> but kind of getting back into what I was saying is that we know that we don't necessarily need each other. I think that's the reality of it all. But the reason why we're together is because we add so much value to each other's lives that we spark so much momentum. That's why we travel together. That's why we live, like, live together. <laughs> who else do you know that does this? Day, who else do you know that does this? We're the only squad doing this. Shit's just fucking dope. Get around people that love you, care about you, want you to do good, and you're gonna have a good life. It's simple. All right, heading to Best Buy right now. The event's in two hours. Um, we're gonna get some stuff for giveaways so we can raffle it off and give back. Make, we're trying to make it fun, you know what I'm saying? All right, want free AirPods? Comment hashtag Team Jet Set. No, I'm just kidding. So we just got free AirPods. We're about to head out to the Mastermind event right now, right down the street. And we just wanna do some giveaways. We got, we got everybody hooked up with some AirPods. In my opinion, it's one of the best things that you can get to save you time and save you more money. So don't miss the next event. Right, whether that's talking over the phone, 
whether that's um, a, a new encounter, whether that's um, over a text message or through a DM message or email marketing, whatever it might be, communication is key. Who here prays that they're going to be welcome someday? Does it ever come true? Amen. Damn. Damn. Right? So I, I was praying constantly that I was going to make a lot of money, but nothing ever happened. Okay? So I clicked on the ad, I found out I was at the bottom you know, to tear up. I was making no money, I was broke, I was unemployed, I was unhappy, I had no friends really. And, and the one thing that really kept me going was that there was people out there that had what I wanted, that could teach me to get what they have. How many of you guys want to know somebody who has what you want and can teach you what they have? Okay, so that's why you guys are here today, right? A lot of you guys probably came here because you're interested in learning something that you don't know. By the end of this, you guys are going to learn a lot of actionable data so you guys can go ahead and apply your businesses. Okay, Grant Cardone says this the best. Every conversation you have is a battle of conviction, right? My belief versus your belief, right? So you can tell me, right, what's your name? Patrick, Patrick, that shirt is what? You can say it's not, right? So in that conversation, it's a sales conversation. I could eventually convince him that it might be an off-white color, it could be an actual you know, shade of white, and he could still believe at the end of the day that it's not white. Right, so that would be an ineffective sale. But the purpose of sales is to try to convince somebody to drop their conviction and to come to your conviction. And that's exactly what we're gonna do when it comes to selling clients. So one of the most effective strategies that I've used in business is called the 3S book. Who here has read the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People? If you haven't, write that book down, How to Win Friends and Influence People, it's by Dale Carnegie. And here's a simple strategy on how to pick up clients. And I only have, I think, 10 minutes or so, so I'm gonna run through this up next. So the first thing that I do is I'll approach a business and I'll say, hey, do you have a phone? What, what do you think they're gonna say? Yeah. Yes. I'll say, fantastic, does that phone have internet on it? What do you think they're gonna say? Yes, yes it does. So I just got two yeses. And the three yes rule talks about how after the second yes, people have a 90% chance to say yes again. It's just what it is. So I could be like, oh my gosh, is that jacket yours? Yes it is. Is that jacket green? Now you're more likely to say yes again. So I can say anything and you're inclined to say yes, even if it's not factual. So one of the things that I do with clients is I'll say, hey, do you have a phone? Yes. Do you have internet on that phone? Fantastic. Let me show you how you're losing money on that phone. Come follow me in your office, okay? You know what they're gonna say? Yes. I keep with you through this whole event are the three C's. Okay? Does anybody in this room that does not, that does not know me know the three C's? And social media allows us to connect with the right people at the right time for the right purpose, what I talked about. And for the networking opportunities, a huge thing for me that I'm going to talk about is how I was able to, number one, start my business last year with the right people and how I was able to do it effectively. So for me, I'm sure you guys know, I talked a little bit about my story earlier about how I met Ty Lopez, how I met Jake, and how I met all of them over there. And a huge thing for me was simply, to be so simple, it's called a direct message, right? So and I'm going to be really going in depth about that. A DM can change everything, okay? And what I mean by that is not necessarily you know, DM, Grant Cardone, Ty Lopez, you're going to get a million dollar check in your bank account. It's not going to happen. What I mean by that is that by simply a direct message allowed me to get in contact with someone that I was able to provide value to, that either number one, introduced me to a new individual that I could do business with, number two, introduced me to a new opportunity to provide value to him. I kind of realized um, after my dad got laid off, or I realized, you know, jobs, nine to five, all that kind of stuff, it's not like stable in this, in this new age, like all that kind of stuff, right? I failed. I, I finessed my grandma for $10,000, and I failed. I lost it all. I paid her back, okay? Now I'm going to try and do actual like get to the point and process and cycles and stuff that you guys can use. Um, it doesn't just apply to e-commerce, but um, with this, like I'm literally going to kind of walk you guys through exactly how I bootstrap my dropshipping store, okay? The, the store that did 2000 a day from day one, I had no money to make go, okay? I was on college break, from SDSU. Um, I went back to Washington with my family. I had $30 in my bank account, and I was at a Starbucks. And I, I don't know if you guys know, um, my very first site, I just, before I got into dropshipping, I, I failed, okay, like I told you guys earlier. And I don't know if you guys know Jason Stone, a millionaire mentor on Instagram, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I ran my first ad campaign with my store through him, and it did, it did really well, but my industry was fashion, okay? And I ran an ad campaign through a motivational company. I had no idea what I was doing, okay? And after that, okay, I, I bummed out this $3,000 ad campaign that I ran with him from my grandma's $10,000, by the way. And, uh, I, I, was, I was depressed, I was looking around, I, I had no money, right? It's like, well, what can I do if you don't have you know, a lot of money to start something up? 
And drop shipping is one of the like easiest and cheapest industries to get into, right? There's no big overhead. You don't have to buy products, but you don't have to like spend money on testing um, products and working with suppliers, like building molds for products and all that kind of stuff. I want to give uh, the guys who actually put this whole event together and plan this whole thing out a big round of applause. Big, big. Round. say crazy crazy awesome minds just really really teaching the most important stuff that you need to know if you really want to be in business that I think is what every young entrepreneur or old entrepreneur would need to see slash hear from Jaden you know what I'm saying like Josh Josh King agreed you know what I'm saying yeah you guys really just got to do this kind of thing if you're really trying to make a big move or have like a huge type of like breaking point in your lifestyle now um before the event, what were your thoughts on coming in? So, initially I was like, eh, what, was I gonna go bang some doors? Like, cause I do door door sales, like, oh. like, you know, that's my man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, I do the social agency, and, like, actually I have business cards in my freaking pocket from today. You know what I mean, door to door, yo. So, yeah, I was gonna do that, but I was like, shit, dude, maybe I can make some connections here, you know, talk talk about something or something I didn't know. Cause dude, I gotta, you gotta stay humble, gotta stay humility, gotta keep that humility, you know what I mean? So, yeah, just, I was thinking like, hey, was I gonna maybe make a few bucks? I mean, yeah, it'd be cool to land another deal or maybe have like thousands of dollars of connections. Do you think that the event was worth your investment tonight? Did you have to over overcome any obstacles maybe to come to the event? Like, was it worth your investment or what do you think of it? Yeah, uh, well, I was doing the side job. I had to leave really early. And, uh, it's, I'm losing money there, but you know, um, I'm getting more here than I could ever imagine. Was there like a sort of something or someone that stood out the absolute most to you or just kind of everything in general? Everything was like nicely set up. I think all the speakers added a lot of value. And my last question is, was the investment worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. 10x, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss the next event. Making this flight, bro. Elijah, we're making this flight. We ain't missing this flight, boy. What you mean? Made it. We got Jack out here with the camera waiting for us. Down in Chicago. Woo! Long ass flight. Squad. About to meet up with 17 year old entrepreneur Casey Adams. What kind of parking structure is that? Look at it. Look at the cars. You're gonna fall off into the river, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Which one's the best? Which one's the best? Which one's the best? 
We got the baby right here, Batman. Hey there, bro. The AirPods. Let me get some. What did you do, bro? Bro, I took this course for credit mastery, bro. What happened, bro? Got a $1,500. I'll show your number, though. I'll show your number. <laughs> it's okay. Take it. <laughs> oh. you know hey, man. You're going to leverage credit. Give me something. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Don't miss the next event. Get hooked up, bro. <laughs> He's the man. <laughs> got everybody waiting out here. And the event up. Let's go. Make an impact on the world. Yeah. Hey. What do you guys just tell me? Yo, that video on YouTube on what the gurus don't tell you, that should change my life. Marketing, you know what I mean? Let's go. Team Jess said, let's go. Let's go. What do you guys say? If you won't buy the product, why the fuck would anyone else buy it? Let's go. Let's go. Look at all the squad back here. All oh, back there. <laughs> There's like 20 people behind us, man. Checking into the room. Had a little penthouse. That's good, guys. Damn. That was a long ass event. That shit was sick. Hey, that shit was sick, huh? Hey, man, if you're not going to New York tomorrow, so sorry for you. We got the penthouse. This cool little room. Let me see this. Ooh, good. I like this. Look at that lighting, man. Look at that lighting, man. <laughs> Damn, bro. We gotta hit the streets. Wait till we get to New York. Oh, yeah. New York, man. Don't miss us. We're gonna be there. On the way to New York, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Coming for you. Before I walk through the airport, let's get it.